today I'm going to show you how to take your collections, everyday objects you have around the house, and style out a bookcase that looks designed and thought out and not cluttered. When I'm styling a bookcase, I always like to put the books on the bottom because A, they're more visually heavy, and B, they're heavier in general. So it will help weigh down the bookcase, keep it from being top heavy, and visually balance out the arrangement of your objects. As you work your way up the bookcase, you then add objects that are visually lighter to carry your eye up to the ceiling. Think of a bookcase as a piece of architecture, just like a skyscraper. You want the weight visually to be at the bottom and get lighter as you go up to create that stability and overall balance of the design. Everybody always has things that they need to have access to, but don't really want to see like batteries, flashlights, candles. I always look for interesting boxes when I'm out thrifting, because I think they're a great way to hide stuff away in plain sight that's pretty. Beautiful, unexpected storage. Once you get everything roughly placed out where you want it to be, you should go back and kind of curate your collections and really place things in a thoughtful way that carries your eye throughout the entire bookcase. What's great is you want to group together your collections, but when you're out searching for things, look for uh, objects that are different sizes so that it gives visual interest to your collection. And don't think that you can only use one collection on one shelf. This is an old thread spool that I'm gonna use as a riser just to help me kind of arrange these in a nice visual way that flows and looks curated and placed and not cluttered. Step back from your bookcase and look, does it feel balanced? Is there too much on one side, not enough on the other? There's a couple ways to achieve a nice flow to your bookcase, and that's with asymmetrical and symmetrical balance. For example, I have the two pheasants here. This shelf is symmetrically balanced because it's the same thing on either side, whereas the one with all my clock faces is asymmetrical. There are bigger objects, smaller objects. When you divide it down the center, it's different. However, the visual weight of this shelf feels balanced because of the size of the objects and the number of them. So when you're looking at a shelf, you want to make sure that it feels balanced to you, and that doesn't mean it has to look exactly the same on either side. Now, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Everything feels balanced and in place. Now, a lot of styling is just intuition and all that takes is practice. So hopefully with some of the tips that I gave you today, you can implement these in your own home and become your own home stylist. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking out Slightly Altered. If you like what you see, be sure and subscribe to my channel for all the fun and inspiration that's yet to come.